Hey guys and welcome to a new video. If you've ever wondered how long each 99 will take you or how long Max Cape will take you in total, well, then this video is one worth watching for you. So sit back, grab a cup of tea, relax and enjoy the video. So first off, some general information about the video. The time required to get each 99 does not include bonus experience, quest experience rewards, efficient multi-skill methods like alking while training agility or something like that, just training one skill at a time, like grinding it out to 99 in one go, and it's not including the double experience weekends you have two times a year, because then of course the 99s will take you much less time than listed on video. The time required to make money for the skills to get them to 99 or to train them to 99 is also not taken into account. And take all the times of a grain of salt because this is if you are doing it with the best methods and you're not talking in between or you're just 100% focusing on the skill, then the times are pretty much accurate. Anyways, let's first start off with the amount of time required to get each skill to level 99. So first off we have the melee combat skills. Those skills are attack, strength, and defense. Now I do know you can train defense through ranged or magic, but today we are just focusing on training it through melee, or melee training. Now the time to get to level 99 per skill is around 30 to 50 hours. I calculated all the skills in Excel by the way, just so you know. Separate methods, the average XP rates, stuff like that. The best methods to train the melee skills are the Abyss, Abyssal Demons, the Sour Dome Encampment, and certain bosses. Now I do know there are a lot more methods to train melee, but I cannot list every single one, of course. If you do want to know all the good methods to train melee, check out my 1-99 and 120 melee guide for 2018. I'll leave it in the description below. Next up we have range. Now I will note that all the combat skills are around the same time to get to 99, as they're almost equal as fast at all levels. Now the best methods to train ranged are through the Abyss, Kriara AFKing, Shattered Worlds, Dark Beasts and other bosses. So the ranged skill also takes around 30 to 50 hours to get to 99. Next up is the magic skill also being around 30 to 50 hours to get to 99 and in my opinion it's maybe even a bit faster than both ranged and melee training. Now the best methods to train magic are the Abyss, AFK and Krill, also known as Samurak, the God of Strange and One Boss, Abyssal Demons, Spiritual Mages, and other types of bosses. Next up we have Mining, which is one of the more slower skills in the game, taking around 110 to 130 hours to get 99 in. This is, of course, because the lower levels are pretty slow, and once you reach the higher levels, like the Seren Stone or the Concentrated Gold, it doesn't get that much faster in terms of experience rates per hour. Now, the best methods to train mining is through the Seren Stones in Prif, Sea Salt on the Ark, and the Lava Geysers. Now, you can also train mining through Warbands. Now, if you're level 1, theoretically, you could only do Warbands to level 99. If you do 3 camps a day, it would take you 47 days and 139 camps to reach level 99. This is only if you have 75 out of 75 supplies every camp, or every day of 3 camps. Now, this will take you around 12 hours of pure Warbands for level 99, which isn't very much if you think about it. Anyways, this will definitely cut down on your mining training time if you do do your warband each day while training the skill itself. Next up we have agility and oh boy is this a boring and slow skill. The time required to get 99 from my calculations is around 140 to 180 hours, which is a huge amount of time. For reference, 120 magic or 120 magic takes around 220 hours to achieve from level 99 all the way to 120 in terms of experience. So this is pretty much, I mean this 99 is pretty much a 120 almost. Even though comma is very fast and that's only if you're doing a fast method of course, otherwise it's going to be more than 220 hours. Anyways, the best ways to train agility are definitely the Prif agility course and by using Silverhawks while training agility or by doing any other skill and getting agility experience while doing it, which I recommend doing if you're using Silverhawks, as this will make the grind much less tedious. Next up we have Smithing, which is a buyable skill, and most buyable skills are pretty fast in terms of training. The time required to get level 99 is 50 to 80 hours. The best methods to train are through proteins, or proteins, 
artisans workshop and by doing rune trades which are profit at the moment. Of course, after the mining and smithing rework, the time required to get level 99 will probably be different and there will be way, way better ways to train smithing. The same goes for mining. Now, just like mining, you can also do it for warbands and it will take you 139 camps, 47 days or 12 hours of pure warbands for level 99 smithing from level 1 on. Next up is Herblor or Herblor or however you want to pronounce it and the time required to get level 99 is around 30 to 50 hours. The best methods to train in terms of experience rates are definitely overloads. And they are also the most useful potion in the game, especially if you make it into a combination potion like the Searing Overloads. Now you can also train Herblor through Warbands. Oh, that's a good thing really, because it's an expensive skill. And it will take you around 139 camps, again, 47 days or 12 hours of pure warbands for level 99 Herblore from level 1 on. Next up, we have the fishing skill, also being a slow one, but a very AFKable one. Now, the time required to get level 99 on average is around 80 to 120 hours, depending on how you train at the higher levels. Now, the best two ways of training fishing in the game are definitely the fishing frenzy way at the deep sea fishing platform and the waterfall fishing in Priv City, also known as Elf City, which is very, very AFKable. Now, the fishing frenzy is not AFKable, but you can get up to 400k experience per hour, I believe. At least 300k. But if you're doing it good with like bonuses and urns and stuff like that, I think it's 400k an hour. I'm not too sure on that though, so don't quote me on that. Next up, we have the Thieving skill, and this skill used to be slow, but since the safe cracking update, it's actually pretty damn fast. So the time required to get level 99 is 30 to 50 hours on average, if you're doing safe cracking, and the best methods to train are through Prif, which is AFKable, safe cracking, which is semi-AFKable, at least at the safe itself, it's AFKable, and the Dwarf Traders. Next up, we have one of the easier, but not per se the fastest skill in the game, Cooking. It can take you anywhere from 25 to 75 hours or even more if you're doing these slow but profitable methods. Now the best methods in the game to train are definitely through the Jug of Wines, which might sound weird because they are low level but they are very good experience power, 500k plus cooking experience power, and that's why you can get 99 within 25 hours as you can do these at a very low level of cooking. Free trick cooking, anything like rocktails, Blue Blubber, Jellyfish, or Selfish, which are pretty much the best normal cooking experience in the game, apart from Wines, of course. Next up, we have Prayer, one of the fastest skills in the game and easiest to train ever. Unless you don't have a lot of money, of course. But if you do have a lot of money, and you're doing something like Searing Ashes, you can get 99 from level 1 in 8 hours. At the Wilderness Chaos Altar, of course. At the Guild Altar, it might take you a bit longer, but yeah. You can get level 99 prey very, very fast. Now, it can also be a slow skill if you're doing something like the Cleansing Crystal Prif, which is like 300k prayer experience per hour, which is slower. But still, it's a fast skill, and it's relatively affordable if you're doing something like normal Dragon Bones. Next up is the Crafting skill, which can take you anywhere from 30 to 70 hours to get to level 99. Now, the best methods to train crafting are definitely through Cutting Gems and through Dragonhide Shields. Now, fire making is one of the easiest skills in the game to get to 99 and probably one of the most common. The time to get 99, however, is around 30 to 75 hours. Now, it can be lower than 30 hours if you're doing it with a fire pitch can with Elder Logs. Now, without the pitch can, Elder Logs are still very, very good. Corrupted Magic Logs are good. The normal magic logs are good, U logs are even good experience, maple logs are a bit low but extremely, extremely cheap, but even U logs themselves are pretty cheap to use for 99 fire making. So all in all, easy skill, AF cable, usually cheap unless you're doing something ridiculous like elder logs, and yeah, it doesn't take that too long to get to 99 in. Next up, we have Fletching. Now, this skill can be very, very fast or very, very slow depending on how you want to train it. Now, it can take you anywhere from 30 to 180 hours to get 99 in. Now, the only way this skill is going to be that long in terms of hours spent is if you're cutting logs for level 99. So, let's say magic shield bows or magic short bows, you know, the last three levels through those, it's going to take you very, very long. Now, if you want to get it fast, the best method to train fletching are dragon darts, broad arrows, ascension bolts, and dragon arrows. Next up, we have another slow skill being woodcutting. And the time to get to level 99 is around 90 to 140 hours, depending on your training methods. 
Now, the best methods to train are definitely crystallizing teaks, the crystal trees, which are very AFK, and the golden bamboo in the arc. Next up is rune crafting. Ah, uh, rune crafting. It's a, it's a slow and painful skill, usually. And the time required to get to level 99 is 70 to 150 hours. Now there's a massive difference because it can take you a very long time if you're doing it through the rune span, but it can be faster if you're doing abyss rune crafting and then later on the soul altar, which is a huge amount of experience per hour. And that is also one of the best methods to train, the soul altar and the abyss rune crafting for the lower levels. Next up is Slayer, which is a skill that will take you zero amount of time if you're training it through combat, or you'll train the combat skills through Slayer, and therefore will not have to calculate the other hours taken into account by training the skills separately. Anyways, the time required to get level 99 Slayer is very hard to calculate, but I'd say around 80 to 120 plus hours, depending on how fast you are and how lucky you are with good tasks. Now, the best method to train Slayer are obviously to train through combat, power slaying with a good task list being preferred so that you get the slayer tasks which give you the most amount of experience per hour. Next up we have a tricky one which is farming but the time required to get to level 99 in just tree farming itself is around 10 to 20 hours maybe even less which is not that much but of course this is over a span of a huge amount of days months actually months yeah. Now you can also train farming from level 74 on efficiently with cedar side which will be around 50 plus hours for level 99. Now the best methods to train are like I said tree runs, tour of farming with cedar side or aquanites or fire lords and warbands which will again take you 47 days of free camps a day or 12 hours of pure warbands for level 99 farming from level 1. Of course, I recommend always training through warbands and doing tree runs or tour farming at the same time to get 99 farming out of the way as fast as possible. Next up, we have construction, which is a very, very fast skill, and the time required to get level 99 is 15 to 25 hours. The best methods to train are just flotsam pour invokers and warbands, of course, and the days required in camps and stuff are on screen again, as I've mentioned it before for every other warband skill. Next up we have summoning which is a tricky one but the time required to get level 99 is only around 5 to 10 hours of pure summoning training through the Tavoli way. But it will take you around 50 to 150 hours to get the charms for level 99 depending on how you train to get your charms. You can do it through Slayer which will take you longer or just farm one particular monster for Crimsons and Blues like a Seld Kalphites or Dagonoffs for Crimson Charms. Now the best methods to train summoning itself are definitely Geyser Titans which are the best experience in game and Pack Yaks which are cheaper and Steel Titans. Next up we have Hunter which takes around 35 to 60 hours to get level 99 in and the best methods to train Hunter are Crystallizing Grand Walls and the Ornate Turtles on the Ark. Next up is Dungeoneering, which takes quite some time to get level 99 in actually, depending on how good you are, and the time required to get level 99 is 50 to 100 hours. And the best methods to train are obviously through sinkholes, which are a daily D&D, or through solo rushing medium floors, or with a good team rushing large floors, for a huge amount of experience per hour, being around 500k. Next up we have Divination which takes around 70 to 120 hours to get level 99 in. Now this used to be longer until the Hall of Memories arrived or the update came which made Divination much much easier from level 70 on because it's so fast. Now, the best methods to train are obviously through caches and the Hall of Memories after level 70 which can be 300k plus experience per hour. If you were to only do caches you could do it for 242 days, 100 points a day and you will get from level 1 to 99 in those 242 days. But this would take you around 40 hours of pure caches, if you are efficient, of course. Though I recommend training through the Hall of Memories while doing your daily caches to get level 99 much faster. And lastly, we have the invention skill, and the time required to get level 99 depends on how many items you're dissembling or crushing per hour or siphoning. Now, if you're crushing three items per hour at level 10 or disassembling them, like crystal halberds, ganodermic bottoms, and top, or bandos, whatever, three items, two armor pieces, and a weapon every one hour and 30 minutes, it will take you around 40 hours to get to level 99. If it's only two items, that's going to be 60 hours. Now, if you're doing one, it's probably going to be like 80 to 90. And if you're doing something like Skillvention, it can take anywhere from 150 or even more hours to get to level 99. Anyways, let's get on to how long it will take you to get Max Cape. So yeah, the total amount of time that you require to get Max Cape. 
An efficient player through just separate skill training, no D&Ds involved, will take around 1300 to 1500 hours to max his account if he was purely skilling with all the GP in the world. An average player with just not grinding and talking in between, doing some other stuff, some bossing maybe, will take around 2000 hours to max. Of course this is a raw amount of hours and it can vary depending on whatever you're doing on RuneScape at whatever time. Now a super efficient player with lots of GP doing the fastest methods and wasting no time talking, PVMing or making money can probably max in around 1000 hours which is insane. This is of course if that player is using the D&Ds and mini games and quests, everything to his advantage. Now the average player, if they would play an entire year, 365 days, at 5.5 hours a day, would max. Now you can also max 5 skills for just purely warbands in 188 days. Divination however, for just cashage, would take you 242 days like said before. So theoretically you could probably max easier if you would do your D&Ds for those skills mainly. And the average player could probably max within 242 days, ignoring divination while doing other skills because you're just doing caches, playing around 3 to 4 hours per day. Which is still a huge amount of free time put into an online game. Anyways, before I end this video off, I just want to mention the benefits you get once you get Max Cape, which is level 99 in all 27 skills. First of all, you can add free skill cape perks to the max cape. The max cape has a bank teleport to the max guild. You have boss portals at the max guild. The max cape is also a tri-brid cape, giving you plus 26 to all styles. It also gives you a 44 defense bonus and a 5 prayer bonus. And it does cost you 2.67 million GP to buy for each max cape. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this theoretical video with some thought process and calculations in it. Leave your feedback down below. If you think I was wrong about a certain skill in terms of hours to train to level 99, please let me know down below. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. When you're feeling down on your luck, you're tired and stuck. Enough is enough. You gotta pick yourself up. Cause life gets hard. It might leave scars.